I never thought I'd be vlogging this, but um, I don't know. Whether the devil likes it or not, I'm gonna get my hair blonde. I'm over here doing hair, driving with no hands, pissed off on my way to Walmart because I heard they sell t Willa, so oh my god, don't change lanes like that. I'm literally speeding to Walmart though. I need this t Willa to dye my hair. And you know what? I didn't have to record me dyeing my hair blonde. This is all for you guys. If I get into an accident, I'm gonna blame all of y'all. Anyway, it's my house well. But I figured that if I'm going blonde for prom, I might as well make a video because it's something that you guys want to see. Hey, chai, chai, chai. I'm speeding. What is up? What is up? But, um, I'm just hoping things work out. Basically, I'm going to go to Walmart, get the T-Well a charm, dye this hair, and slay. That's the plan. Green light. Oh my God, sorry, Dale, he thinks I'm recording him, this is so embarrassing. Move, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. So I guess this is the part where I cry. They don't have it, it's online only. I didn't see the fine print, so dreams killed or nah. Hey guys, so. It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 something. I'm leaving Walmart with absolutely nothing. Not gonna record my way home because I almost died the way here. So see you guys at home. Okay, so I'm not gonna stress myself out and be sad on my way home. My goal was to just do a flowing video, a nice DIY thing, but it's not gonna work out that way. This is real life, you know what I'm saying? And going blonde is a big deal. If you're hanging with me and you want to see me go blonde and you want to prosper and you want to go blonde too, then at least you learned some stuff. Number one, Walmart does not have Tiwella. Number two, Sally's closes at six on Sundays. And these are all obvious things you can Google. But you know me, I always have to struggle and do things the harder way. But you know what? God is going to pull me through. I'm going to go blonde. I'm going to slay. And you guys are going to like this video. I just want to let you know that someone love you bad. John 15, 13. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Okay, let's get started. These are the products that you will need. You will need bleach, I'm going in with BW2, some 40 developer, and a mixing bowl to mix them with. To wash the hair, you need your shampoo and conditioner, some latex gloves to protect your fingers, and a mask too, because we're gonna be inhaling some very dangerous products. So, the bundles that I'm using today are from She's Happy Hair Company, including my lace closure as well. The unit that I've been wearing is all She's Happy Hair. I'm gonna take two bundles from the unit and combine it with the two bundles that I just bought, and we're gonna be dyeing those blonde. Before you start coloring the hair, please take a measuring utensil and measure how high up you want the color to start. Now, because I want black roots and blonde hair, I'll be starting the color at two and a half inches. You also wanna see how your hair reacts to the bleach. So take a small piece of hair and bleach that first so you can have an idea of how you should go about bleaching the rest of your hair. Let the hair bleach for 50 minutes and I only washed it out because it's settled and that means the bleach is done processing. So after 50 minutes, this is how the color came out and that's not the blonde that I want. You don't wanna fry the hair, so just wash it out and bleach it twice. So moving on to the closure, you can see that I have the tape on the table assisting me to know how high up to go with the color. And because I want it to blend very well, I'm going to take a hairbrush and I'm going to brush that color in. Notice I didn't make a straight line across the closure, that's not what you want to do. So people have their different methods and techniques to how they bleach the hair, and this is the one that works best for me to get the best blend and cute highlights and lowlights and all those things. I saturate the hair like sauce it in the sauce with bleach, and then I take a brush and I brush it through to make sure the hair gets through. Now before flipping, I leave it on for about 
three minutes so that some hair can lighten so that when I flip it over and apply more bleach, the hair that lightens now will be a little darker or a little lighter than the hair that I put before. Does that make sense? In the end of the process, I get highlights and lowlights. As you can see, I apply the bleach, I let it sit for a little bit, and then I flip it over and then apply to the other side so that there will be highlights and low lights. You can kind of notice it right there that some is brown and some is blonde already. This time around, I left it on for 40 minutes so that it won't damage. And then after washing it out once, I bleached it twice, okay? I bleached it twice. I didn't show it in the video to save time, but if your hair is honey, just bleach it twice. If it can take it and it's not damaged. I'm also moving up on the closure so that the roots can go from black to brown and then blonde. So this is what the hair looks like when you've already bleached it once and you're bleaching it again. Uh, after leaving the bleach on again for 40 more minutes, my hair came out blonde and ready to work with. Using purple shampoo or shimmer lights is not going to help at this point because it has to be very ashy already for shimmer lights to work. And as you can see, after washing it out, it's still brassy and still orange. If your hair is like this, then this video is for you. Just keep watching and we'll fix it together. To tone the hair, I'm going to be using Color Charm Wella Toner in T18 and T35 with 20 volume developer. Now we're going to start off with the T35. You want to mix one bottle of Wella Charm, whatever, toner with twice as much 20 developer. Okay, you can read the directions on the back, it helps you a lot. Um, but I applied the T35 closer to the you know beige or browner roots that I want at the top and then I applied the T18 to the ends and to the, all the hair basically just all of it that I wanted to be ashy blonde and when it's processing it begins to turn purple so that's how you know that you mix the product well if it's not turning purple then you did not mix the solution correctly and you might have to try again you know that it's done processing when it turns this really, really nice purple color. This is the one that I already washed and it is gorgeous and ashy and so, so, so good. Now this is where purple shampoo actually starts to work its wonders. It's gonna bring out all the ashy tones and just make the hair a little ashier. And this is the finished product, beautiful blonde hair. Congratulations. So let's lose the hat real quick and look at these roots. Like this is what happens when you dye it two and a half inches up. It came out so perfect guys. Like I'm in love with my hair right now. Anyways, if you want me to make more vlogs, just comment below and let me know. I'll be happy to, they're so fun. And ready? Jehovah is the Lord. Jehovah is the Lord. If you're soprano, go <clears throat> from everlasting. You can also add me on Snapchat, and even though I don't really vlog on Snapchat, I should say, when I do post, it's super lit. I can keep you updated with makeup and all that stuff. It's in the description box. But anyway, like, comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, like, what you doing? What you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. Show your girl some love. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you achieved the color, and I hope you slay. Anyway, bye.